What's up? Hey, how's it going? What's um, your uh, what's your what are your pronouns, real quick? Just he him, I guess. Okay. All right, he him. Welcome to the show. Thanks for coming on. So you're here to uh, defend Destiny? Uh, yeah. Well, I guess uh, regarding the consent tag, sure. Okay. Go I ahead. don't know. Do, do you want to talk about something else or what? No, no. I mean, you, you, you were the one who wanted to have a conversation. You said. Okay, you gotcha, gotcha. Could, yeah, contest, yeah, so. yeah. It's yeah. just that I wasn't specific in chat, right? In chat, I just said. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll talk about Destiny because you were talking about him, and. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think so. I think uh, I think Destiny's takes on consent are trash. Uh, I think the way that uh, he um, engages online um, uh, about this sort of stuff is just abhorrent and indefensible and uh yeah so i don't know like uh if you got if you got if you got something for me i'm open i'm all ears okay so what are the issues you have uh, what do you want to talk about first the tweets um, do you want to talk about the, the argument itself the rhetoric uh, i'm not i mean i think i think i have a problem with basically every single layer of it i think that the argument that um that you shouldn't have casual sex if uh somebody violates your consent and you freeze up that that is an indicator that you shouldn't have casual sex is an insane position okay, i think that's, gotcha. a, that's oh, okay, a, gotcha. a, a genuinely repugnant position and also to uh to springboard into that conversation by quote retweeting and calling mentally retarded uh uh a a random twitter user who you know nothing about who was simply just explaining that they had a bad experience with sex one time uh, i think that is also an absolutely unhinged and completely inexcusable behavior so yeah i think he fails on both argument and rhetoric okay gotcha uh mm -hmm. i'll agree on one half of it uh i think he uh his twitter is very rhetorically bad yeah they always that is that. something i think we can probably find common ground in right yeah well um, yeah but i mean i feel like that's always what they say they say there's this joke in the destiny community and I, and you being a member i'm sure you're familiar of it they call it uh you know twitter steve or they'll call it uh twitter stinny and it's like oh he's different and 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 it's it's mad cope because it's just people saying oh yeah like oh they pretend like what he does on twitter doesn't matter or isn't reflective of who he is but it is especially given that he's burned through eight accounts doing exactly that doing the same thing every time it's just okay. it's not um, twitter steve it's just steve it's just destiny yeah. okay so uh can we agree on one thing uh yeah. do you acknowledge that rhetoric and the arguments of a point can be two different things um yeah sure so like the logic of something can be completely sound whereas the rhetoric can make it seem really bad right you can agree uh -huh. on that right yeah i do agree okay gotcha yeah. oh, gotcha so just because sure. his rhetoric is bad doesn't mean his argument is bad at all true right I, okay, well gotcha. yes that's that is true just because his rhetoric is bad that wouldn't mean his argument is bad but his argument is bad and that's his rhetoric okay is gotcha bad. Okay. yeah i'll gotcha that's where we disagree that right okay the logic of the argument so uh Explain to me what's the specific issue you have with the argument again. Sorry. Uh, the problem that I have is that it is, an, it, it is ab an absolutely insane position to argue that someone should not engage in any casual sex or, as was, uh, as was alleged in other ones, that they shouldn't be having sex at all um, be simply because they felt uh, they froze up when they were being sexually assaulted. That is that is the most charitable version of the argument that I can uh, sort of pull out from his rhetoric, which his rhetoric was to say you're mentally retarded and you shouldn't al be allowed to have sex. The okay, core okay. argument. Uh, wait, well, hold on. Wait, I just want to be clear. The core argument is you should not have casual sex if you freeze up when you're sexually assaulted, which I think that is insane. Okay, so uh, okay, so uh, in the future, do we need to constantly go back to the rhetoric? Because I already agreed with that, right? If the rhetoric is already dog shit, we don't okay, need to. Wait, no, we're I don't just think focusing you're understanding. specifically on the logic. We are, we are That's only. I am, I am talking about the logic here. Right? I'm talking okay, gotcha. about the it's argument. that, it's that you brought back the retarded children comment. Yes. And that's re and that's specifically no, no, rhetoric. No, no. I, I brought that's not that up. Wait, wait, hold on. I brought that up only. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't mean to, to like, to be. I'm not trying to be rude or anything. I, I brought that up specifically to say that uh, to explain that the, I'm trying to pull out of his rhetoric the core argument. I only brought that up in uh, uh, as a side as like a sort of this is the rhetoric I'm dealing with, and I was trying to illustrate that I'm pulling out as charitable of a point from that rhetoric as I can. So oh, okay, I, I'm okay, sorry okay, if that gotcha. was a misunderstanding. 
Okay, gotcha. You're good. Okay. Yeah. Why is it insane to say that if someone can, uh, if someone cannot, if someone, if someone is uncomfortable expressing their boundaries during casual sex, they should not be participating mm -hmm. in it? Why is that an insane take to say? Uh, see, because you have now changed what the argument is. The argument. Oh, has is that not the changed. argument? Ah, see, because. Your your argument. The argument was never that people that somebody couldn't assert their boundaries. The argument was this person self-reported freezing up while being sexually assaulted. And you are now changing the argument. This is a a goalpost shift or something oh. along the lines. Okay, it, yeah, okay. Because can you tell me what you think Destiny's argument is? What yeah, is I Destiny's did, argument? I, I just did though. I just did. Okay, His, okay. Ar repeat the argument it then, that he it. made. The argument that he made. Uh, and I, I said, putting all rhetoric aside, the argument that was made was that if you freeze up during sex where you are being sexually assaulted and you don't do anything against it, you are wrong and should not be having casual sex. That is very clearly the argument that was communicated both on stream and off stream by Destiny. And that is an insane argument. It wasn't about yes. boundaries. Yeah. This woman was very clear about having set her boundaries. The fact that he had a condom on in the first place isn't is it or that the partner had a condom on in the first place is evidence of that. But keep in mind that uh, that um, the details about the actual situation were not much, but nonetheless were enough for Destiny to make a lot of assumptions and then say ultimately okay, uh that. It's sort of random. Can we just go by, I'm not, go I'm point not, by point? I'm not trying to, to ramble, but go ahead. Yes. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. I would just rather prefer point by point. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, okay. So let's go point by point. Uh, can we not focus on the woman in general? Because uh, she's not really the point of this conversation, I guess. Uh, We're see, talking about in general, no, right? I, I We're talking about the I, logic. It's not necessarily, uh, you can argue that, well, he didn't know much about the situation. So maybe he should have commented on it. Mm -hmm. Like, again, that's not talking about no, the full logic because, of the see, argument. See, if you're what that allow what that's what that lets you do, and I'm not okay with this because what that lets you do is conveniently discard the facts of the situation, which is that Destiny's argument um, was built off of uh, both both actual misrepresentations of her case and uncharitable conclusions um, based on assumptions. So, like, um, not only did he directly uh, when he was making his argument, the facts. That his argument was based on um not only did he directly contradict what was actually said by the person at hand who was the subject of this whole discourse but then also so he he directly contradicted things that were established but then he also presumed things that were not favorably to his case this was something we talked about earlier on in the video okay fine okay uh do you want to get into that situation specifically, or do you have okay? Because uh, we're jumping around, okay. At first, we're not we're jumping about... around. No, we're not jumping around yeah. at all. We haven't jumped around even in the slightest. This okay, has been, gotcha. This has been uh, gotcha. So what do you want to? So what do you want to? So what do you want to? What do you call? So what do you want to attack first? Then right? Do you want to attack first? Because uh, what I'm going at is the idea of, and he said this on stream multiple times, right? He said it on stream as well, right? The idea of if you are uncomfortable during sex. If you are uncomfortable say, uh, expressing boundaries when someone is pushing them during casual sex, you shouldn't be participating in that. Now, do you do, do you have a problem with the argument I just made? Uh, wait, sorry. Can you restate the, the, the argument you're making now? Okay, okay, gotcha. I'm, I'm sorry. Fact, I just, just want to make fact, sure I'm hearing this? it correctly. How about this? How about this? I think this is the best of this conversation, okay? Leave destiny completely out of it, okay? How about this, okay? Since we're focusing wait, on came, the argument, I don't give a fuck about destiny. You in this came moment. on here to defend destiny. Okay, yes, yes. Uh, okay. If you are now uh, going to, to defend wait, the wait. logic, to defend the logic of his argument, hold, not hold the. On. You've changed his argument. His argument had nothing. You, you. Okay, this is why I keep getting frustrated because you keep trying to remove destiny from it, but then you change the fact of that the argument that he made was not anything about boundaries. The initial argument had nothing to do with boundaries. It was him declaring that a person who was sexually assaulted should not be engaging in uh in in casual sex because they had a uh -huh literally the the number one most documented traumatic response to being assaulted which is to freeze that okay, is the, okay. um, the uh, well reckoned there's no arguing with that that is an objective fact okay, gotcha. every single um, yeah so so don't change his argument okay. if you want to make a different um, argument and you want to speak for yourself that's fine but i need you to then admit that destiny's argument was in, indefensible and we're now talking about something else uh no um, okay okay so, so okay, then, fine. then okay, we're fine. not going to okay, move fine. from it let me clear the point let me clear up a point then do you think stealthing is pushing a boundary? I think stealthing is rape. 
I mean, obviously, so is so is a girl. Uh, so is a girl. Uh, what do you call? It? Uh, so is a girl reaching for your butt. But again, those are two different things. You would conclude that, right? What? Do you not agree with that? I don't know. I don't know what you mean. I didn't. I didn't so hear for example, you say a so girl for example, reaching for your butt. Uh, so so for example, so for example, right? Uh, if you're engaging in sex, right, and you uh and you express that, for example, you don't like your balls getting touched, right? Okay. And the girl touches her balls. Uh -huh. Is that rape then? That is rape, right? Um, I think that yes, I think it could be absolutely. Okay, yeah. gotcha. By 100%. definition, yeah. that is rape. Yeah, yeah. If somebody, yes. if you, okay, if gotcha. you say don't touch my balls, and somebody touches your balls, yeah, absolutely. But you agree. But you agree that that is also pushing the boundary, right? Would you not agree that that's also pushing the boundary as well? It's violating and blasting across a boundary. It's not pushing a boundary. It's violating one completely. Okay, fine. Let's leave pushing the boundary out of it then, since uh, yeah, because it's since not. Since you have an issue it's with that, important. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Wait, it's not oh, having gotcha. an issue with it. It isn't. It's 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 pushing a boundary. Is like, hey, wouldn't it be like like, hey, what if you uh, what if you let me touch your balls? Hey, 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 that's pushing a boundary. Touching someone's balls after they explicitly tell you not to, or after it's understood that that's not going to be the part, that is blasting past a a a boundary. So no, they're not the same thing, and it's important that they're that we that we are both clear on that those things not being the same thing. Yeah. Okay. So um. Okay. So okay. Um. Uh. Okay. So uh. Do you agree or disagree with the fact that Destiny on stream has said multiple times that um that if you are uncomfortable uh expressing a boundary or or uh or even if someone is trying to violate your boundary. Right. Mm -hmm. By your definition of violating boundary, if someone is trying to violate your boundary, if you're uncomfortable telling them no in that situation, then you shouldn't be having casual sex. Do you agree or disagree with this take of his? Uh, I think that is a I think that is a uh, a take that lacks nuance. And also, uh, again, I will point out the fact that we are now moving to a different take. If that now the How reason a different why. Take? Wait, this is a different. He said thing. it. He has said no. it. He has wait, said wait, this wait, multiple wait. times. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. But wait. Yes, he has said many things. But we're not talking about that take. The take that I have a problem with was the other take. The take that says that if, uh, if you are, if you freeze up when you are responding uh, to sexual assault, that is a sign that you are not prepared to have sex. That is the argument that I've received. No. Uh, oh, okay, that gotcha. Is the uh, argument uh, that okay, gotcha. Okay, okay, gotcha. Now, so, wait. Gotcha. You're talking about the one that. Uh, the one where he posted a tweet, right? He's uh, it was the, multiple, the it was tweet. multiple tweets, gotcha, which he then gotcha. carried, the which which he then continued to def defend on stream, including going so far as to win given additional information by Hans of Harkir, who uh, everyone who's in, who knows anything about me should know we have we have beefed in the past, so I have no reason to like be biased toward towards Hans. But Hans brought up a tweet. And and Destiny laughed at it. The tweet in in question that we're talking about was the person further communicating that they were indeed raped and that there was more information they didn't include in the tweet. That uh, and then Destiny just laughed at that and said, "Wow, well, I guess you should just stop trying to have sex then." Which again, okay, okay, an um, uh, position. okay, again, okay, again, okay, again. Uh, you're going on to a different topic, but I guess I'm not. I guess we can no, dabble. No, I, guess I we reject can dabble that. With that. Okay, no, no, no. Fine, 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 For fine. my eyes, that is not that I have not moved topics. This is the exact argument I've been making. No, you, no, I didn't say yes. you moved topic. I didn't say you moved topic. I said okay. you brought up something that's not part of this conversation about mm. him laughing. If you want to get into that, we can get into that. Do you know why he laughed at that? I think he even explained why. I don't. He care. thought it was funny. I okay, do. gotcha. Uh, oh, gotcha. So if you don't care, then I don't know why. No, no, I don't. I don't, I don't care, care why, why he laughed. At, I don't care at why Destiny. I don't care for to to hear any defenses from anyone. I don't care who you are. Uh, you or anybody else, or Destiny even, to defend why he laughed uproariously at somebody he was actively beef beefing with on Twitter being the that them saying they were raped. There is, I think that is inexcusable, independent of everything else. But I think that it is illustrative of his position on this, that he's doubled down on, and that you come in here saying you want to defend Destiny, but what you do is you do this little switch you do a little uh, a little sleight of hand where instead of talking about what he actually said now we're talking about some other take that he made at a different point uh that was not as extreme but 
Um, but it doesn't matter because he also made the extreme take. It would be like this. Let me give an, let me just give a quick example. Tucker Carlson has probably said something at some point that I would agree with. He's probably said something like, uh, you know, it's fucking terrible when police do things they're not supposed to do, which I would agree with that. But at other times, Tucker Carlson has said things I strongly disagree with. It doesn't matter if I disagree with him saying something one time, if I strongly disagree with him on another. In this same case, I'm sure that Destiny has also, in addition to saying that if you freeze up during sexual assault, that you are, uh, you should not be having casual sex. I'm sure he also said that people who, uh, who don't, who can't establish boundaries shouldn't have casual sex. But those are two separate takes, both of which Destiny made, one of which I think lacks nuance and isn't that big of a deal, and the other one, which I think is just explicit rape apologia. And I think that's okay. important to distinguish. Okay, okay, okay. So you said that uh, the freezing up, if I'm not mistaken, it was feeling awkward. Do you understand? There's mm -hmm. probably a difference between those two, right? Ah, well, you don't know that. See, that's the thing. This is where the facts become important because somebody saying awkward, awkward has a lot of meanings. And like what, what? what awkward can mean, I mean, awkward is, is, a, is an emotion. It's not an action. Um, but, but the implication uh, said here was I was too awkward. I felt too awkward about it, which is, that is up to, then it becomes, see, when you're trying to interpret language, you have to either choose to ascribe charity or no charity. So when somebody says awkward, that can mean a lot of things. For some people, awkwardness means something that's agonizing. So for example, um, when I talk about social awkwardness, um, that is something that can be painful for a lot of people. And um, so I think there's a lot of different definitions of awkward. And it's interesting to me that Destiny assumes that it minimizes it and says, oh, well, awkward? Oh, what does that mean? Ugh. But it's very clear, given the context of the tweet, that too awkward, the awkwardness was so strong that she couldn't respond to the sexual assault that was happening to her, which was happening to her. So, um, again, uh, this is an example of where um, the word awkward mean is 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 uh, uh, entirely uh, irrelevant to what happened in the situation and the take that followed. the The use of the word awkward is just one person explaining their emotions. What what clearly happened is their emotions overwhelmed them such that they could not respond to the sexual assault that was occurring to them at the time. Okay, which okay, is a okay. very com, which is a a such a common is literally an acronym for it. Okay. Okay. Uh, um. Uh. Um. Uh. I don't know why you're saying. Uh, her saying awkward doesn't matter when doesn't. that was the core. When that was the when that was the core it of wasn't. Destiny's argument. It was. It was. His tweet was. Uh. What was it? What was the thing he retweeted? If you are too awkward. Uh. Mm -hmm. To 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 tell someone no in that situation, then you should be having casual sex. That yes, he made that awkward was the main ah. issue he had. It. So no. I don't know why you're saying it doesn't Wrong. matter. Wrong. You're you're not you're not understanding the argument here. Uh, the awkwardness is only the rhetorical flourish by which he delivered his argument. His argument being what happened. Awkwardness is a feeling, not a, not an, a response. What happened in the situation is that a girl got stealthed. Yeah. And, uh, the girl who got stealthed froze up and could not respond in time and ended up dealing with this situation. He chose to fixate on awkwardness because that is a rhetorical, in his opinion, rhetorically favorable because he can frame her as like emotionally irresponsible. But do you see that's rhetoric? And I, being a good rhetorician, can recognize rhetoric as separate from the argument. The argument he was making was, was that people who freeze up in the situation should not be having sex. Not people who are awkward should not be having sex, but people, yeah, fine, you see? Fine. Yeah, thank fine, you. Fine, thank fine, you. fine, 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 fine. Thank you. We'll leave the awkward part. Okay, well, what is the issue with saying that if if you are someone who freezes up during sex, you shouldn't be having casual sex? Mm. Yes, that's a terrible argument. Why? If you freeze up during sexual assault, that is the the ra that is a rational and normal response. Okay, again, assault. okay, again, uh, okay, again, okay, again. Uh, se sexual sexual assault can be a variety of things. So let's focus on specific examples of sexual assault, right? For example, so why don't uh, we? Use, wait a minute. Why don't we just use the example at hand? Okay, why gotcha, we, gotcha, we gotcha, 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 exactly, exactly, exactly. So if you're being stealth and you see mm -hmm. a guy's about to stealth you mm -hmm. and you freeze up and you can't yeah. and you don't tell him no in that situation, yes, right, then why is it wrong to tell a person you shouldn't have sexual assault? I mean, you shouldn't right. have what he calls, sorry, you shouldn't because, have sex, because casual is, sex, sorry. Wait, wait, why is that bad? Okay, um, I will tell yeah, you Yeah, why, why is it bad, bad to I tell someone what, who can't say no to someone wait, stealthing on. them? They They already said no. 
the fact that they agreed to uh, to using a condom, which is a very serious point of consent. It is. Uh, so let me just lay this out. You're going to have to give me a second here. And I really want you to listen to me and think about this because I, I recognize that this is a topic that is not like there's not a lot of uh, discussion around this a lot of times. But uh, first of all, a condom is meant to protect you from unwanted pregnancy and STDs and potentially, well, a, a large amount of STDs, some of them very minor, some of them very extreme, like HIV. That is what the use of a condom is. If someone says we're using a condom, if a condom is on at the beginning of sex, that is a assumption that the condom will be, to the best of everyone's ability, maintained. There's a reason we have a term called stealthing. It's because it is a violation of consent intrinsically. The action of taking off a condom during sex, whether or not someone notices it or not, that is a violation of someone's consent because the person who is in the position of being fucked is no longer being protected, which is not something okay, that they agree okay. to. So that's I don't know why you're going over whether no, I know why it's bad. I'm not saying I'm not saying something is good. That's not okay. my argument. My argument is why is it wrong to say that if she cannot say no to this guy who is uh, who's actively trying to violate this boundary, mm -hmm. why is it wrong for me to tell her, hey, you probably should be having casual sex. Then. Are you familiar with the term uh, victim blaming? Yes. Okay. So victim blaming is when somebody who has been wronged is is framed as the cause or as the person to blame in the situation. Hence the term victim blaming. That's why this is wrong because she didn't do anything wrong. Her partner did. So why should anybody spend any time castigating her? She didn't do anything wrong. Okay. She okay, got okay. raped and you're no, defending. Obviously. Ah, obviously. Hold on. I wasn't Whoa. done. Wait, stop. And don't bro me. Okay. Listen, the, she, she, was, like she was raped. And what you're doing right now is you are attempting to put the blame on her to say, no, it isn't, you shouldn't have an expectation of not being raped. You should expect to be raped and therefore you should stop engaging in casual sex unless you are prepared to, uh, to, uh, to try to stop your assailant. And it's interesting because uh, again, very telling because I want to keep okay, this relevant. No, okay, Wait. no, 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 you're mischaracterizing my position. Okay. okay I'm not telling her, I'm not telling her, I'm not telling her, um, uh, um, uh, you should expect to get raped. I'm telling her you should expect people to always continuously try to continue to breaking your boundary if you are having casual sex with people you don't know this is it you don't know these people right so if you're gonna That's if you're not, gonna participate all, no okay, okay also, fine fine no. yeah you're right you're right we don't know that right but if you're gonna participate in casual sex right and would you agree that if you're having casual sex it's usually with people that you don't have a high level of trust with right it's not you're not in a committed relationship no no that's not necessarily true um like uh i mean i mean by definition I mean, it's not somebody you have from, a aside from aside from like a friend i'm talking like uh, I mean, maybe someone you're acquainted with maybe someone you find on tinder would you agree that those are things. usually it depends, but it doesn't matter. What you you are still your argument right now is still putting the onus of not being raped on the victim of rape, and and I okay. know that like I feel like you're you're struggling to recognize that the way that you're structuring your argument by telling the the woman to stop engaging in casual sex where she did nothing wrong, you are victim blaming. You are saying that it is ultimately on her if bad things happen to her in the future because she should have just stopped having casual sex. But the reality is that no. People should be able to go about having casual sex and not be raped. And we should, okay. and when um, people uh, are raped, we should be on their side and we should be against the rapist. Uh, okay, I have a question. Yes. Um, uh, if I have a neighbor and my neighbor doesn't lock their doors and then like, uh, and they end up getting robbed because their door wasn't locked, mm -hmm. is it is it victim blaming to say, hey, in the future, maybe you should lock your doors? No, it isn't. Why? Um, Why? Why? Well, it's not their fault that their uh, house got robbed. You're, because presume okay it could okay hold on let me revise that it could be but it isn't necessarily and there's a reason for this because talking to someone in a frank conversation about prevention for example shortly after this uh this conversation that we're having pr provided nobody else wants to come argue with me um we're going to be having a conversation about gun ownership and um it's really interesting because that's a practical discussion about self-defense where i will uh tell people what i think they should do in order to protect themselves from danger I will not be blaming them, 
if the danger gets to them. I will be teaching them how to respond to it. I'm giving advice on how to avoid danger, but that's not the same thing as what's going on here. This isn't a personal friend that you're giving advice to. Destiny was not giving advice to anybody. In fact, he was calling this, I mean, again, ignoring the rhetoric, he was saying that it is your fault, ultimately. You should not be having casual sex if you get sexually assaulted and you freeze up. I don't even even if we move to the example of the neighbor who has a um who has an unlocked front door um which would be is a totally different context if 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 that neighbor got robbed and the first thing you said was man bro you should have probably just uh locked your front door uh sucks to be you I guess uh, and then you you would be essentially saying I don't give a shit about you. I think that you deserved what you got. That is the implication. Now, I think that if you were to sit down and say, hey, man, are you okay? Like, I'm really sorry that you got robbed. It's wrong that you got robbed. Let's try to take some practical measures to prevent this in the future. That's a completely different discussion. But let's not pretend that's not the discussion that was had. We're not talking about that. So it's again, again, yeah. again. So basically, in these instances, you are literally, uh, you're literally basically arguing that uh, beast me telling me telling that neighbor right uh uh me telling the neighbor hey uh you should well that sucks you should have uh well maybe in the future you should lock your doors no uh, what i'm saying you're basically saying, saying you're basically saying no no let me finish my point you're basically right. saying that you're basically saying that hey instead say it in a nicer way hey instead instead acknowledge the fact that uh they shouldn't have gotten robbed and uh it's not their fault they got robbed just no. be a little nicer about it. That's no, exactly. That's actually. essentially what you're saying. Not what that I'm is saying what you're saying. All. No, you weren't listening. Let me let me restate it for you. Um, if you have an established relationship in which you can provide uh, practical advice to somebody that presumably that they ask for, because um, unasked for advice is uh, often very obnoxious. And um, but if you have an established relationship with somebody and you want to uh, and you have a, a practical, the context being, hey, how do we prevent something bad from happening in the future? And you're working together towards that goal. That is a completely different context than making a general rule and saying people who freeze up when they are sexually assaulted or people who unlock their door uh, should not have uh, the equivalent if i was to draw a direct equivalent like a a uh, a logical equivalent to the two arguments the 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 statement that we would be talking about would not be hey buddy i think it would be good for you to lock your door in the future so this doesn't happen again instead it would be uh the equivalent would be uh people who leave their doors unlocked deserve what they deserve getting robbed that would be the equivalent it would be like uh you you should not have possession wait 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 you should not wait, be wait. allowed okay to gotcha have gotcha 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 which is absurd so so do you think so do you think so do you think um so so do you think do you think destiny is essentially saying that women who can't say no uh toward uh when a guy tells him deserve to get raped Yes. You think that's what, you think that's what I Destiny's think, saying? I do think, yes. And I think that's especially true when you see the conversation that he had with Hans of Harkir, in which the woman further, the woman in question at in this particular topic uh, uh, step, uh, said, yes, I have been raped on other occasions and telling somebody no when I tried to fight back, uh, I was only raped harder. And then he laughed at that and said, well, I guess you should just stop having sex. So yes, I do think that Destiny is indeed making the statement that if you uh that if you uh if you can't stop somebody from raping you then you deserve to be raped and guess what the reality is there are a lot of people who cannot physically stop someone from raping you and it is and it is not just do i think insane but also okay okay unironically okay. Wait, no, wait, let me finish let me finish let me finish let me finish please bro. please let me finish i'm not and don't bro me Okay. Oh, do you not like Let, the term bro? I don't like I don't like people I don't know calling me bro. I'm not your bro. Sorry, it's just in my vernacular. It's all good. I get I get you. No worries. I'm just you know, I'm just reminding you. I'm not mad. I'm just reminding you. Like a debate bro. Um, my, my bad. Yeah, I'm yeah, just no, a debate bro. It's fine. It's all good. It's fine. Um the uh uh I now I can't recall what I was even going to say. Uh go ahead. I I've lost my train of thought. Okay. Life. Okay, there is a difference between someone violently uh, raping you and uh, f uh, physically uh, assaulting you in terms of like in terms of like you can't stop them, whereas someone's just taking out condom. Do you understand that these are two different levels you're of? Doing, uh, this is, you're doing you can say apology. no, right? How's the rape apology? How's the rape apology? Downplaying the impact of somebody being raped 
because of the actually actually the actually, I, actually actually uh i'll push on that would you agree that the impact of uh getting stealth is a lot different than being vi violent raped do you Absolutely. think these two are the exact but, same impact no i don't okay, think they're so, the exact same thing but but that doesn't matter because uh that doesn't have any bearing on the situation because uh the severity of the of the sexual assault has nothing to do with whether or not the uh the response was rational and the response to uh to especially given it's not that, I'm, I'm not talking about the response i'm talking about the impact that's two different things yeah but the impact well, i don't know what you're talking i don't know why the impact would matter here. okay i don't okay. understand what so you're okay okay yeah yeah what yeah uh okay would you agree would you agree that uh would you agree that it is easier to say it is easier to stop someone stealthing you than someone violently raping you probably maybe i don't know i've never what do you mean never, maybe i don't it's, know well i don't know how hard it is to stop somebody from stealthing you like um what if what if what if you see uh let, let's let me just give you an example here uh giant trigger warning everybody uh, uh just a warning okay let's say a dude pulls his condom off and he's pounding into you and you try to stop him but he keeps going you've just the situation has just changed from you getting stealth to you just no 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 getting... that's not what we're talking about we're talking about a situation where you see someone taking off a condom you see i'm not talking about where yeah, Wait, but, yeah, but yeah. Like, you see them talking like, off. But we don't know. But see, but do you see this is the situation where you don't know how they no, took it off? What if they? No, what if they? Wait a minute. The context, stop, stop. That's the context which Destin responded to. Stop for a second, okay? You don't know any of the context about uh about how it was removed we this is again this is this is an absurd level of apologia for a rapist you're making up all kinds of what ifs and what ifs and what ifs ultimately when what you could say is no raping people is wrong look let me just give you an example of this i want to be as charitable as possible because i i i feel like I feel like you're coming here in, in in relatively good faith, even though I disagree very strongly with your with your uh, position on this. Um, let me give you an example. If I'm if I am being penetrated and somebody pulls out for a second and peels off a uh, uh, a a condom, and I see them doing that before they start thrusting into me again, um, that is very very that is there is no difference in how you would respond to that to how you would respond to being uh, uh the 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 more extreme uh formal rape there is no difference they are they have done something your that your consent has now been violated and this person is in you they might be in close quarters we don't know what it means to say when somebody says i saw them taking it off it could mean they took it off between thrusts it's very easy to remove a, con a condom and i find it concerning very concerning that your and destiny's first in instinct is to be like is to downplay the severity of that situation because you can imagine a situation where it might be easier to stop somebody but i can imagine many where it's not and it's concerning to me that your first instinct is to defend the rapist and not the victim do you see no no the reason why it is so important to point out the fact that she's uh the fact that uh the fact that the context of okay well she saw she saw the guy taking off the condom is because that is the uh even if even if even if the woman ended up clarifying later on that she didn't know that he took off the condom that was the context in which destiny responded to right it doesn't so, matter that context why still why does it not doesn't, matter wait wait because why does it not the matter core ar wait because the core argument wait, okay is the core argument okay. being made is still identical. Okay. And, okay. So, and, uh, wait, I wait, still have a question wait, for you. Then. Wait, I want, wait, I wait, 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 wait. I want to answer the question you just asked. First of no, all, no, no, you, you didn't. No, answer. no, I didn't. I stop, please, for the love of God. I asked I if it was. Yeah. Stop. Fine. Okay. Go. Stop. Go. Don't wait. make me irritated by fucking doing this shit. Just let me finish my what I wanted to say. I just said I wanted to add to what I was saying. No, it doesn't matter because the core argument is exactly the same. And secondly, my previous argument which is that i find it concerning that the first instinct and the continued instinct is to err on the side in the favorability of a rapist when we already know that there is a whole bunch of ways that this uh uh that, that, it, that it, it is it, it could not have been that way so for example if you and destiny make the assumption that oh maybe she maybe he stood up and took the condom off on the other side of the room which i imagine is what you're sort of thinking of that's only one potential scenario and the fact that that is the assumed scenario even though that evidence is not there and that no clarification is sought to me, indicates a, a concerning thought process. So these are two separate arguments that I'm making here. Both of them are in response to the question you asked. Can I ask you something? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Can I ask sure. You uh, uh, I have to ask you this question real quick. Okay. okay. Um, uh, 
Do you think if Destiny knew in that moment before he made the tweet, ah, uh, uh, or before uh, he retweeted or whatever, right? If you think he knew that, uh, let's say, uh, let's say, if he knew that that woman, uh, she didn't know that the guy took off the condom, right? It, uh, and she didn't find out until after. Do you think Destiny would still say, "Hey, it's up to you. You should have said no when he took it off." I don't know that you're you're asking me to to postulate. Why? The, you're asking me to postulate an alternate world. I don't I don't know, and I don't care. That's okay. Gotcha. To me. Okay, like gotcha. Well, if you don't, if you don't care, then I don't know why you can say that it's not important because that's what? the exact mindset. Because that's how that's how he that's perceived the happened. situation to have gone. That's not what happened. That's no, it's not no, what he, happened. No, in no, real no, no. Life. He didn't perceive it's that. He assumed. He assumed it, and then doubled down. It's funny because see, this is the part where you start to look. You really get egg on your face, and this is why I think the people that try to defend Destiny are are really putting themselves in a bad position because it it when the clarification did happen, his response was to laugh and say, "I don't think you should be having sex at all." So, it's funny because he did get the clarification, and when he got the clarification, he doubled down and made his position even worse. So. This is this point is a big loss for you and the destiny side because he did that we saw what happened when the evidence was clarified He continued to make the exact same argument, which is more damning Okay, okay, can I ask you something now? Sure, sure. Okay. Have you ever been sexually assaulted? I recognize this is a personal question. You don't have to answer it if you don't want to but I just uh, I just genuinely want to ask you I don't know why it matters. I want to know. Why does it matter? Because I have Okay. Uh, again, okay. why does it matter? And uh, and it's oh wait, why does it matter? Because it no, matters yeah. What is why is it important? People are hurt by this. Okay, people are really hurt by this type of uh by this type of advocacy by this type of um lack of 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 empathy towards people who are hurt. And guess what? I am a, a very strong and extremely capable of fighting individual. And when I was sexually assaulted, I couldn't do anything against it. Because of the position that I was in, because of the, the social context that I was in, there was nothing to be done about it. It just happened, and then it was over, and it sucked, and it hurt, and it shouldn't have happened. So I want people to think about that a little bit, to, to take themselves out of the video game brain of trying to logic lord every single uh, uh, position, um, you know, so that your destiny, you know, your, your, your internet guy sounds the best. The reality is there's real people here who are being uh, who are being harmed actively by these types of arguments. And I think that the reason why I wanted to ask you that question is because I wanted to ground it down in a little bit of reality. I wanted us to remember that this is a that these arguments aren't just some uh, in a vacuum where you can logic lord your way around and say things like, oh, well, maybe technically this, that and the other thing. No, what actually happened was this argument went forward p targeted against a real person with, on an issue that happens to people every single day. These are things that matter. So there, that's why. Do you understand that? Sure. Okay. Okay, uh, I have one more question. Sure. If you're willing to have these segments and to have these long talks about Destiny, why not just debate them? I already did. Twice. About this topic. No. If you have an issue with this topic. Wait, why would I ever? Wait a minute. I've already debated Destiny once. It was a miserable experience, and his fan base is fucking horrible. I debated Destiny a second time. It was a miserable experience, and his fan base was fucking horrible about it. I debated Destiny on the Hippy Dippy twice, I think, uh, and it was a horrible experience, and his fan base was fucking miserable about it because his fan base and himself are miserable cretins on the internet who treat everyone else like shit, and then they tell you that everyone else is like that, but they're not. So no, I'm not going to spend any more time. I don't I would I would I would never want to engage. Well, I mean, if Destiny really wants to come on, uh, I'd be open to even uh I guess talking to him again about it, but I don't really care to. I don't make it I don't make this effort for any other of the fucking uh cretinous uh pieces of shit like Dennis Prager. I'm not going around hoping to have a conversation with Dennis Prager. I denounce and I move on. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. Firmly and unequivocally laying out my case, which is so far, ironclad, and moving on.
because I think that Destiny is a, a increasingly conservative, uh, toxic force on the internet who puts out bad arguments that hurt people, and then he c claims everyone else is doing that, and then uh, he tries to get little debate segments where uh, if it goes bad for him, he doesn't post it up on his channel. Like the first debate he had with me, which was disastrous for him, and he never posted it on his channel. I wonder why. Maybe because it was so, disastrously for him? So do you plan on like, never talking about him again, or what? What's that? Or I guess, like, in the future, are you like, oh, no, oh, oh, no, or? I'm going to talk about Destiny whenever I think it's relevant. I just happen to think it's relevant to talk about him right now because he's basically the most, like, like in, in, in these spaces, in the spaces that I uh, participate in, in the political uh, content creator streaming spaces, Destiny is one of the most consistently toxic uh, individuals. And right now, his this particular topic is one that hits home, uh, very close to home for me and for many other people. And I think that his behavior on it has been heinous. So, yes, I withhold the, I, I absolutely withhold the right to uh, to comment on and denounce him whenever I street, see, feel fit. That's what I, my, that's my prerogative yeah. as a, as a yeah. political streamer. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I mean, obviously you have every right to say mm -hmm. no to a debate. That's not my point. Of course. My point, like, obviously, like, uh, like, I'm not saying, like, you're morally wrong or whatever for not right. having a debate with him. It's just, it's just, a, it's just like, I don't know, like, uh, uh, if you have such an issue with him on this, I don't know on this topic, but just, yeah, I guess on this topic or uh, on any future topics. Mm -hmm. And then, uh. And at the same time, if he's willing to also talk and go through even his tweets, right? Uh, he's even willing to go and defend his tweets. Uh, I don't know. It's just why not just participate in a video? Oh, because I, I don't think, know. Like, why oh, not just wait, I don't wait. know. It's just first of all, because he's claimed he'll never platform me ever again. He was the first one to bitch out. I offered to debate him many, many times on many different issues, um, and he's bitched out over and over and over again. Because it turns out, uh, spineless Steve is is the weaseliest little coward you can possibly imagine. Um, but on top of that, um, I don't. I don't think there's anything to be gained from a live. I mean, to be fair, you said the excuse same me, thing. So. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I don't think there's anything to be gained at this point from uh, me having a live format conversation with him. Um, I think there's almost nothing to be gained even from his followers, but I have a little more hope for his followers than I do for him. Um, but in a live format, it's just as easy for me to just react uh, or do my own little segment where I talk about it. And I don't have to deal with him uh, screeching and uh, being an asshole and then his fan base uh, freaking out and, and, uh, and having a meltdown on me for the next three weeks. It's just easier. It's just better. It's tactically advantageous uh, in every single way for me to not have him on here to just scream and behave like an unhinged child and instead just say what my problem is. He's already behaving like an unhinged child. Why would I Why would I care to sit down and try to pretend like I'm going to have a good conversation with him? I know he hates my guts. He told me to his face he hates my fucking guts. I don't care. I'll just give my opinion. My opinion is the one that matters, not his. So, yeah. Okay. Um, Simple okay. as. Simple as. Okay. Is there, any, is there anything else you want to talk about? Or no, any no. Is there other anything else you, you want to talk about? Remember, you came on because you wanted to yeah, do Destiny. Yeah. Is there any other points yeah. you think I said that were like out of line or something? Uh, well, uh, I hopped on towards like the end of your talk with the other guy. Mm. And uh, it was it was just about like him talking about the chat. It was like upsetting him or something. So yeah, I, I didn't... I, I, uh, I knew you were talking about the consent thing. So that was yeah. it, but... I mean, oh, I, I don't know. Like, I, 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 uh, I hear you're a you're a bona fide DGGer. I wish you the best. I hope that you bona fide. Like, what does that mean? I don't know. Bona fide means like like genuine. Means like verified. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm a DGGer. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna debate irrelevant. Yeah. What's that? We're gonna debate irrelevant. You want to debate irrelevant? When are you gonna debate irrelevant? Oh, uh, never. I think uh, engaging with irrelevant is literally, I think, below me. I gain nothing from it. I don't care to platform what, Like him. clout or what? No, no, in, in every single way. I think that he is like morally below me. I think that he is intellectually below me. I think he is significantly less entertaining than me. He has no clout. I have no interest in... And his takes are, are just bottom of the barrel. He's one of the stupidest people on this on this platform. So, yeah. Gotcha. Sorry. I'm just drama baiting. That's it. Uh, have a good day. All right. Yeah, no problem. Have a great day. All right. Well, that was an interesting ending.